Hello and welcome to another video tutorial from computergargar.com. This tutorial is looking at how to group dates in the pivot table by month. I have a pivot table on screen at the moment which is looking at uh, dates that orders were placed and the salesperson that or salespeople that took the order with the total that uh, came in that day. At the moment everything is by the individual order date. So I'm getting some, some fairly useful information. You know, I can see that only one or two orders were taken there on certain days. What I like to do is group it by month so I can get some monthly uh, totals and, and data to that level. Now a quick and easy way of doing this is I just want to right click on one of them dates. I'm going to avoid the, the, uh, the rows that say total in because they are the subtotals. I don't want to right click on them, I want to right click on one of the individual dates. And I come, come into the option for group. And here we go, grouping in a pivot table is very easy. So it picks up my first and last date in that range. I have the opportunity to change that, but uh, I won't do. And it asks me how I'd like to group it. Months is already selected, which is awesome, that's exactly what I want. But you see other popular settings such as quarters is also there. Now I'm going to choose years as well in this scenario. I just clicked on years. Uh, no need to hold down control or shift or any uh, other similar shortcut. The reason I'm holding down years or the reason I'm selecting years as well is because this data spans multiple years. And if I didn't select years, Excel would assume that November 03 and November 04 uh, are the same November, or it would treat them the same anyhow. By using years, it will it will separate them and be where they are different. If I click on OK, that is it. I now have totals by month, broken down by them salespeople. So I can see how much was earned in July and the contribution of the salespeople to that. And the same for August and so on and so forth, September here, and on we go. And that concludes our tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please check out some of our other tutorials at computergargard.com uh, and on our YouTube channel and Facebook. Cheers. Bye for now.